Yes. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Channel 8 A News. Well, today we are going to do a special report about consumers and cis trend isomers. You may wonder, like, what the heck are those? I never heard about them before. Well, I think you're watching the right channel then. Sit tight and get ready for a great presentation by our UC Davis scientist. So here we are with our feature scientist, Dr. Carbon from the University of California, Davis. Wow, I am so honored to be sitting here with you. So I know that you've been doing some research. What's been going on? I know it's something about consumers and... Cis trans isomers. Oh! We've been studying these structures for the past few weeks. What are cis trans isomers though? Let's start off with what isomers are. They are two compounds with the same molecular formula. They are considered to be non-identical for two reasons though. First, they are different in the way the atoms are connected. This is known as a constitutional isomer. Here we have ethyl alcohol and dimethyl ether. <clears throat> and another reason is the way that the atoms are arranged in space. This is also known as a stereoisomer. Here we have a cis-2 pentane versus a trans-2 pentane. The structural differences dictate the different properties. So where was I? Oh yes, cis trans isomers. S compounds that are formed from restricted rotation caused by a double bond or a cyclic structure. A cis isomer is when the hydrogen atoms of the molecule are on the same side. When the hydrogen atoms are on different sides, that is known as a trans isomer. Wow, that sounds so fantastic. Can you just give me a few examples? Examples? Sure. Examples can be found in our everyday diet, you know? Did you know the benefits of cooking your tomatoes? No, actually I don't. Why don't you tell me more? First off, tomatoes are considered to be an excellent source of lycopene. Lycopene is a powerful antioxidant. Hmm. Raw tomatoes contain a good amount of lycopene, but in its trans form, however, when you cook them, isomerization occurs and the trans form is converted to the cis form and this cis form is more readily available for use in our body. Wow! Now I know how to cook my tomatoes. This is so interesting, especially for our everyday consumers. We should really pay close attention to what we buy and what's inside our foods. You know, you should also think about fats though. Fats? Fats. Fats? Yes, fats. Oh. In its unsaturated cis form, fatty acids are in liquid form. However, when it's tweaked, the double bond comes undone and simply gets put together again with different configuration. Trans fats. Mm. The compound is straight and stiff and most importantly solid at room temperature. This is what helps give margarine, among other food, their texture. That's just so incredible. Cistrans and lycopene, uh, tomatoes, fats. It's wonderful how relevant this is to our everyday life. I mean. What we eat, it's so important for our health. We eat so much. That's breakfast, lunch, dinner, and oh, don't forget our snacks. Snacks! And you know, the better the foods we eat, the longer we live. The quality and longevity of our life comes into play as well. And also, another prevalent connection is reducing our diseases such as chronic heart illness and even cancer. Antioxidants help us fight these diseases. And back to you, reporter Hydrogen. That's right. We should take into consideration of what we eat and also what we buy. We, as a consumer, should know what companies are selling to us. We are a society that is extremely concerned with counting every single calories to knowing what the daily value to our nutrition is. It's important to be aware and knowledgeable of the chemical structure that can be found in our food for they can be advantages or harmful. Back to you, Nitrogen. I guess you really are what you eat. And there you have it. Stay classy, UC Davis, and we're out.